Hi, I'm Brendan Sauer with Discover Battery. And in this video, we're gonna explore connecting Link2 or Link Lite to your computer and using the Link Access software to interface with the network. Now you'll notice that both links have different ports for CAN out. Link Lite is commonly used in industrial applications where companies have the ability to make their own harnesses. Link2, on the other hand, has a standard RJ45, which is very common with a lot of power electronics, including inverters as well as Phoenix connectors, where you can plug into uh, can high, can low, and ground. So Link2 offers a more common user interface. What does that mean? It means for Link Lite, there's only one interface possible. So that's the IEC 5 pin. You must use this. In a previous video, we did explore networking batteries and Link accessories. So if you haven't seen that, we recommend you go back and view. To get started, you're gonna go online to the discoverbattery.com website, pull down the product list and select link access. Now, when you're here, right at the top of the page, there's gonna be a banner and it's gonna show you where you can download the software. Go ahead, download that application. I always recommend you store it to the desktop. This makes it easy to find. Now, when that download is complete, Open up that file, run the installer. Accept the agreement and proceed. And now we have the link application. We have no devices connected, so the software showing us that there are no connected devices. Keep in mind, this is a Windows only application and we recommend 64-bit. Now, next step, plug your USB into computer and connect to your Link2 or Link Lite device. Now on Link2, you'll notice that the SOC LEDs are toggling. This is just indicating to us that there is power to the device, but there are no batteries detected. Both Link2 and Link Lite can be powered from USB or Link port. The Link 2 can also be powered from an external power supply using the Phoenix connector as well. If you look at the software, you can actually see that as well. So the battery system is there. There's zero detected batteries. All we really have is the link. So at this point, you can go ahead and turn on your batteries. Notice that the LEDs on the Link 2 are illuminated. So we have 100% saved charge. And on the soft, we can actually see all three batteries are now appearing. So once you have the software installed, your battery network connected, there's a bit of a dashboard. You can view individual battery data, set up and configure your link. And of course, there are some support tiles as well. So if you're looking for documentation, frequently asked questions, there's some quick links to the website. Installing Link Access is fairly easy. So once you've downloaded the installer, installed the application, all it takes is plugging in your link with a USB. Now keep in mind, Link Access is only compatible with Link 2 and Link Lite devices. It's not compatible with older Link Solar devices. I recommend you tune into the next video where we explore Link Access in more detail.